Camp Killcare's initials have sparked controversy, and state park leaders say it's time to make a change. Local 22's Jolie Sherman has more on the camp's origins. Camp Killcare has been changed, as many felt the name was offensive. But Vermont State Park Director Craig Whipple says it has no historical ties to the Ku Klux Klan. It was named that because there was a, a boys' summer camp that operated on the property from 1912 to about 19, the mid-1960s. Whipple told me that in 2010, the state park hired someone to verify the camp's origins. Because we hired a professional to really do the research and drill into it, we were comfortable that, that there was no basis for it. And we maintained that. And we still do. I mean, that's the, there is no connection. But Whipple says state parks are supposed to be places where people feel welcomed. State parks are places of, for solace and reflection and security and peace. And we want everybody to be comfortable going, going there. Assistant librarian from the Vermont Historical Society uncovered old documents from the camp, and she believes the change is necessary. Oh, somehow clan and camp and that hard K, it, it, it's, it just feels wrong. Um, whereas, you know, if, I mean, just changing it to kill care is still a little interesting, but I don't think people would have the same visceral reaction. And to have something like that that, that creates discomfort um, uh, reminds people of anxiety and stress in our culture and society right now. Um, that's contrary to what we're trying to do, so we thought it was a pretty easy fix. Visitors can learn about the park's history at the site and Vermont's Historical Society in Barrie. Currently, state park leaders have removed the sign and will be replacing it by the end of the season. In Montpelier, Jolie Sherman, Local 22 News.